Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Lutz. Today, in our lesson for Foundations One, we are going to practice our dictation. I have Baby Echo here to help. And before we start, you need to go get your packet and find your paper that looks like this. And get a pencil and then come on back. You can pause your video right now while you go find your materials. Okay guys, hopefully you have your materials and you're ready to go. Remember, when we do dictation, we say the sounds, we say the words, sometimes we tap the words, sometimes we have to just know how to spell the words if it's a review word, and then we get to write a sentence. So let's practice together because it's been a while since we've done this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, t I'm gonna tell you the sounds. We're gonna review our sounds first. We're gonna do three sounds. So if you look at the top of your paper, you have the numbers one, two, and three. So here we go. First, first sound, get ready. Say, ch. Very good, ch. What says ch? That's right. Let's write that, C-H, chin, ch. Nice writing. C-H, chin, ch. Second sound, number two, here we go. Say, p. What says p? Yes, p, pen, p, p, pan, p. P, it sits on the line. P, pan, p. Get ready, here's number three. Last sound to review. Say, eh. What says eh? You're right, E, Ed, Eh. Let's write E, remember special letter E starts under the plain line, goes up to the plain line and around to the grass line. E, Ed, Eh. Very good. I'm gonna come down to my next number one on my paper and we're going to practice our current words. Get ready. Get your pencil ready and your fingers ready because you're going to have to tap this one. Say dogs. What's, what do you hear in dogs? What's at the end of dogs? It's your suffix S that we've been working on. Now I remember my teacher told me that I have to tap out just the base word to learn how to write it. So what's the base word in dogs? Dog. Get ready, elbows up. Let's tap out dog. D -og. dog. Very good. Do you think you can write that? Let's write that. Tap it again and write it. D -og. Oops. Dog. Mrs. Lutz is gonna fix her G because it should go down to the worm line, but I'm writing sideways, so let me fix that. It's okay, we all make mistakes, there we go. There is the base word, dog. So I'm gonna underline my base word. How do I make it say dogs? Sounds like a Z, but it's a suffix. So that's right, S, bugs, S. So we're gonna add an S, S, bugs, Z. S can make the S sound in snake, S, snake, S, and it can make the Z sound in S bugs. Z. So that's what this one is. Number two, here we go. Find your number two and get ready. Say hams. Hams. Hmm. I hear the suffix S at the end of hams. What's my base word? Ham. Let's tap out ham, and then we can write it. Get ready. <sighs> am. Ham. Remember, am is a blue sound. <sighs> am. Ham. Let's write ham. You write it with me. <sighs> H. Ham. Am. That 
that's a blue sound. I know the am is a m. Ham. I'm going to underline my base word. Say hams. What do I have to add? You're right, the suffix s. So I'm going to mark it up. I'm going to put a circle around my hands. And just so you can see, I'm going to put my number three right here, but I have to move over, okay? You find your number three. Good, here we go. Last current word to practice. Say pens. You do, you hear a suffix at the end of pens. That means we have to think about what is the base word. I hear the word pen. Can you get your elbows up and tap pen with me? Ready? P -n pen. Let's write that. What was the first sound? P P P P P E E E E E P N N Nut N. There's my base word. What do I have to do to make it say pens? I have to add my suffix s, pens. Very good. Make sure you have what I have. Remember, you're doing it on paper and pencil, hopefully, and maybe you can share it with your teacher. We're going to, I'm going to erase mine, but you keep yours on your paper, and you're gonna go down to the sentence. And Mrs. Lutz is gonna start her sentence right here. So our sentence, is, and I'm going to draw some sentence frames since I don't have my sentence frames. This is magnetic. Say, did you get your socks? Good. Did you get your socks? So I'm going to draw my sentence frames. Did you get your socks? Say it with me one more time. Did you get your socks? Hmm. Now I know that my teacher taught me that every sentence starts with a capital. So I know my first sentence frame should have been tall. So let's just remember that, okay? I'm not gonna, I don't have my real frame so you can't do it, but let's just remember that we have to start with a capital letter here. Did you? That's a trick word. Did you get your socks? So I know I have two trick words in here that I'm just going to know how to spell. I'm not going to tap. I never tap my tip trick words. So I want you to try to write it. Ready? You try to write it on your paper. Did you get your socks? I'm going to give you a minute. I'll say it again. Say it with me. Did you get your socks? If you need extra time, you can pause the video and then turn it back on to check and see what we ended up writing. Here we go. Did, oh, I can tap that word. D, -id, did, but I remember that my teacher said every sentence starts with a capital letter. Did, so I'm gonna use black so you can see it. Did you, you, I know how to spell you, that's a trick word. Y, remember, your Y goes down to the worm line. O, U, did you get, I think I can tap that one, tap it with me. G, E, T, get, G, 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 E, T, did you get, your, who knows how to spell your? That's right, we write you and we add in R. Your, here's the worm line, go down to the worm line with that Y. Y-O-U-R. Did you get your socks? Do you think we can tap that word? Get your elbows up, ready? Sock. S oh, that has a suffix, sock. Sock with an added S. I can write that. S -o -c. I remember 
that, when k follows a short vowel sound, it's the CK. <gasps> Did you get your socks? I need to add my suffix S. And what goes at the end of my sentence? A period for a sentence that tells me something or a question mark for a sentence that asks me something. Did you get your socks? I think that asks me something, so I need to put a question mark. Did you get your socks? I'm gonna phrase that. If I ask that, I pretty much just say it in one phrase. Did you get your socks? So there's my phrase line. Did you get your socks? I want you to check your work and make sure you have everything that I do. Did you get your socks? That was a very good dictation lesson today, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me. Make sure that if you did a really nice job that you take a picture of it and send it to your teacher. They'd really appreciate I know your teacher would really appreciate that. They'd love to see what you're doing. I'll see you again sometime. Goodbye.